Hello everyone, I'm Amanda House and this is a follow-up to my original video posted December 10th, 2012 entitled Amanda's Plea to Gail and Weston Jr. In this updated video, I want to make three important points. My first point is that my partner Chris and I had the opportunity to meet with Gail and Weston Jr., the Executive Chairman of Loblaws, on December 14th, 2012. Unfortunately, very little came of our meeting with Mr. Weston. Although Mr. Weston indicated that he would investigate our case further, Loblaw released a statement an hour after our meeting suggesting that YoPro did not sell well. The second important point I want to make is that we actually have evidence that YoPro was performing well in Loblaw's stores and should in fact be offered in more of their stores. And the final point I do want to make is that evidence shows that a key Loblaw computer containing emails relating to YoPro was corrupted in April 2010. That's one month after we filed our lawsuit against them. Lala then told us that they purposely put a drill through the hard drive of that computer and then had it discarded by a third-party company. And this is according to their company policy. We have requested emails from Lala's server, however, however, so far we've been unsuccessful. We must be on the mark with everything we say due to the fact that we are in litigation, so if you would like more information, please visit our website, yoprotreats.com, or visit our Facebook page entitled Do the Right Thing Lala. All of you are the reason that Chris and I have got this far and that we finally got Loblaw's attention and we really can't thank you enough and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We just ask that you continue to share our story with your friends and family and hopefully this will come to a resolution soon. Thank you.